here we have our introduction to the Echo View and Q-Ray 3 from Ray Systems. So the Q-Ray 3 you'll be able to hear, uh, see some more about in one of our other videos um, which goes through operation and calibration etc. This is really focused on the Echo View device. Now this provides a closed loop wireless network which is capable of looking at multiple instruments. We happen to have a Q-Ray 3 instrument here which is set up to talk to the Echo View. You, the Echo View can display up to eight separate instruments which could be Q-Ray 3s, Toxy Ray Pros, Multi Rays and a variety of different options. This is really good if you want to have a site supervisor remotely from people who are wearing these instruments in the field. Um, so operationally speaking, standard operation for any Ray instrument, switch the units on using the mode buttons. When the Echo View starts up, it will um, go through a standard startup procedure, but then it will start going to search for instruments. So you must make sure that your instruments are all warmed up. This happens to be in host mode and it lets us know what our modem type is. So this will now go and search for instruments that happen to be set up on the same network. It may be that you need to go and set up your closed loop system. So to do that, this is all done via the device. So if we want to join a network, um, we can see at the moment we've got a wireless signal going out. So this is now in receive mode and this is in send mode. Um, so hold the mode and no button down and enter the standard menus. And then if I scroll across to my wireless options, um, we can then change, turn the radio on and off, make sure our pan ID and our channels match. So my pan ID happens to be um, set to 999 and my channel is zero, which is the same as this device. And then if I want to join the network initially, so we'll hit select, and then this instrument will now confirm, do we want to join this network? Yes, we do. And then it will join this network. Um, this is limited on a closed loop network to eight different devices. So we can see this has successfully joined the uh, network and we can now exit. So the instrument has to be in general measurement mode and now this is going to search for this device. So this is sending information and this is searching to see it. It can take a minute or two when you initially start the device so we can now see that our instrument via its recognized um, individual serial number has been recognized by the Echo View. So this is now um, any alarms that are applied to this device will show up on the Echo View remotely. Um, the limit on um, distance depends on what's on site. Um, so these are high quality radio frequencies. However, if you're in a stainless steel box, it might struggle to get this signal outside the device. Um, so just be aware of um, lines of sight and where you might uh, fall down on your closed loop network. So if I apply some gas to the Q-Ray 3, um, we will be able to see an alarm and how it's reflected on the um, Echo View network. So we can see the instruments now in alarm. And now we can see an alarm appearing on our Echo View. So that took about three seconds or so. So we can see that the Echo View automatically lights up. A star comes on for the instrument that happens to be an alarm. Um, we can, uh, if we had multiple instruments, we could scroll through and see some additional information about um, the, the particular units. So we can see what gases are in alarm. Um, where the settings are, what particular gases are in alarm at the particular time, um, where the instrument is. So this is just letting us know it's got multiple gas alarms as we can see on here. And then if we remove the gas alarm, assuming this is in a safety state, it will take a second or two. And now we can see that the Echo View is back in normal operation. So what this is really useful for is if you've got a team um, with a variety of different instruments uh, on site and then you uh, have a remote site manager who may want to see multiple um, exposures from different um, operators um, remote from the site. Uh, it helps significantly with management. 
um, of uh, people in highly exposed environments. So again, to turn the instruments off, uh, simply hold the on off button down. Uh, the important thing to bear in mind with the Echo View device is it operates using a lithium ion battery. Um, the battery is um, removed from this compartment. There is a special tool to remove this section and then the lithium battery slides in and out. Um, it's got good operation in terms of the battery life on the Echo View, um, but it is important to have uh, multiple um, spares on site just in case you need them. Uh, they're not rechargeable batteries, so it's an important thing to bear in mind. Hopefully you found this uh, introduction to the Echo View useful and if you need any more assistance or support as usual get in contact. Alternatively you can go and visit our website at www.safetymonitors.co.uk or do give us a call on 01489 890 458 between 9 and 5 Monday to Friday or outside of normal working hours please do give us a call on 07951 854-824. We're here when you need us and we understand that the normal 9 to 5 day doesn't always apply. So please do feel free to give us a call. Thanks for visiting and we hope to see you again soon.